Retro Rob plays everything. Hey Rob here and today's video is about Big Picture's effect on the GPD Win. That's Steam's uh, basically set-top box mode. And it's really nice for the GPD Win as far as an interface goes because you can control everything with the game pads. You can have it boot into it. It looks really nice. Uh, however, I've heard stories of problems with performance when you're running it. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because the uh, the information is usually on these super high-end machines like a, an actual gaming machine and unfortunately that's not a really good test for us guys that are running GPD wins because they're so powerful that the overhead really doesn't matter that much to those machines but on the GPD win I thought it might have a much bigger effect so uh, anyway, we're going to start right here in BIOS though because I want you to know how I'm configured so that if you were to test it, you would hopefully get the same results. I don't do much. Um, there's been recommendations to change uh, some stuff in the RAM. I didn't do that. I'm not... I really try to do as little performance tweaking as possible. I like it to stay as cool as possible because as we know, heat is death and the GPD win is very susceptible to heat so i try to keep it down but i did do a couple changes that uh people in the reddit community felt made a pretty big difference and i think they did because i ran tests with and without unfortunately you're not going to see those results here because uh some of the recording didn't turn out that well but yeah i did find a bit of an increase uh when i ran these tests all right so let's go into uh, the IGD configuration here and I will show you the two things that I changed uh, right here IGD turbo enable I enabled it it wasn't before and graphics boost and that is basically it so uh, let's go on to Windows real quick I'll show you a couple things I changed in Windows uh, I did do some basic optimization turning off uh, system um, things that started up when the system starts up uh, shut down some services etc but i'll show you that in the unboxing video when it eventually comes out and that's not really the purpose of this one but i will tell you that i slightly optimized the operating system but not so much that i wasn't comfortable running it all right hold up All right, so here is the HD graphics control panel. Note that I cannot take credit for any of these tweaks. They're minor, uh, but I did get them off of Reddit. In my full video, I will be covering a good group in Reddit to check out on the GPD win. Also, uh, there's Dinguity as well, and I'll put links to those down below, uh, but as well as talking a little bit about them on my other video which is going to be a little bit less focused than this, which I don't know if you can believe. But anyway, all right, so two things to check out. Uh, first thing is the 3D section here. Note, I just basically switched this over to performance. It's set in balanced mode, I believe, by default. Uh, all these settings, make sure it's an optimal mode, enabled. Uh, Multi-sample anti-aliasing should always be off and of course turn off. I'm not 100% sure it always listens to it. Uh, it seems to get overruled sometimes so you're going to want to check in games to make sure that stuff's off as well. Let's go back to the main menu. This is not the greatest interface in the world. And go to power management and extended battery life for gaming is disabled and of course uh, power saving technologies are disabled as well and that is basically it I mean that is all I've really done other than basic optimizations in Windows that everybody does again I will be covering that in another video all right let's get on to the test shall we so I use 3d marks cloud gate test uh, to conduct the testing on this and that is a test for, let's say, moderate laptops to low-end gaming machines. And I thought that kind of fit in here. It's not 100% perfect. Unfortunately, the drivers are not certified for this particular test. And it kind of shows in the test results. But it, you know, honestly, it, I think it runs it okay considering what you're looking at here. Anyway, I conducted about six runs on each of the uh, 
on each of the tests. And the, <laughs> the results were pretty wildly uh, variant. There were tests where like really, 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 really sucked. And then there were times, I said really a lot. Uh, <laughs> then there were times where it did really well. And I, well, not really well, but what I considered well. And the difference seemed to be if I had it uh, plugged in or not. So I kept it plugged in. Uh, the way power management is set up, I didn't think it would actually affect it that much, but apparently it did. And uh, so these conduct these tests were conducted with it plugged in the entire time. So the results from each pass were uh, with just plain steam. The first test I got three two I'm sorry two three two nine score. The second time. I got a 2352 score and the third time I got a 2315 score for a uh, overall average of 3 I'm sorry 2332 uh, was the final win mark score on that I should say 3D mark right but it is windows and then under big picture it ended up being 2288 then 2247 and I thought eh, not too bad but the best score I could get after that was 2032. And that averaged out to about 2189. So the difference was about 143 uh, on average. So that's, it's a pretty big difference. It's not a huge difference, but it does matter in the end. So, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you can argue with the results too. I mean, obviously there's a difference there, but the measurement, you know, 3D Mark isn't that exact test that's going to do it, but it gives us an idea that there are definitely uh, performance differences between the two modes. So one thing that I noticed when I was testing is that anecdotally, it felt like the GPD win was getting hotter when I was running big picture mode. So one of the things I wanted to test is find out whether it really was getting hotter. Uh, I thought about putting a turkey, uh, you know, a turkey tester in there and seeing if it popped, but I thought uh, maybe this would be a little bit better of a test. So here I am running. Uh, this is just regular mode, and here is CPU usage and uh, core temperatures. So we can see right there that is the usage right now it's running at 400 megahertz uh it's running pretty pretty cool and the max has been 48 and 51 and 54. so now i'm going to switch it over to big picture mode and see what happens I, i'm almost sure it's going to be running hotter and using more processor And we'll give it a couple minutes here and talk about feelings or something. Uh, let's see if the uh, let's see if the numbers are going up, even with it running in the background. And right now you can see it's just <laughs> the CPU is running full bore. Let's get on to. We're on the library page. Let's just get on the library page so we're in the same area, basically. We'll look at installed. And then let's see. Yeah, and as you can see, global temperatures are already rising. It is starting to slow down a little bit. I don't know, it's pegging it. So. It definitely runs a little bit hotter. And one of the things that I think might be going on is, even though I have my uh, thermal settings set a little bit higher than stock, I wonder if it's hitting the uh, it's hitting the limits of uh, the thermal settings and then slowing the processor down to cope with that. But either way it goes, there, there is definitely a measurable effect on using the GPD win with big picture mode uh, the question is why I'm guessing it probably is that it's uh, 
once it gets hot enough, it's just uh, slowing it down, and that's what's doing the performance, because generally on faster machines, it doesn't affect performance. Hard to say. So basically, do I recommend using big picture mode? Well, you know, it's, a, it's so much better of an interface for using the Win. I don't know if I can say just don't use it. I like booting into it. I like using it. I, I like the interface a lot better, but I would say that any game that I'm using that requires some performance, I'm probably going to quit out of it and uh, just run it from the desktop or... Uh, try and fiddle with the uh, the interface. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it took a little while to put together, and uh, I hope it was helpful in some way to you. If you enjoyed it, please do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Of course, coming up is the GP Win unboxing and first impressions video. I'm sorry it's been taking so long, as I explained at the beginning. Uh, this, this is one of the things that sidetracked me on uh, getting some final recommendations for it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos